All right, let's continue Final Fantasy 16. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I hope you've been enjoying so far. Let's settle in. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? It's the calm before the storm. That is for certain. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms at mother crystals and her skies are a roiling sea. Yeah, that's not happening, Sony. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. All right, give us the breakdown. Is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the diminished coincidence. Thing. No one could have predicted the actions of the crown prince. Yeah, that was uh. Save your home. My that was something that scene. That was really good. Such an intense battle. Clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, then what? King will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. The military breakdown, as always. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. Wait, am I really up to number five? Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of oh, shit. beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the <laughs> This is like zombies now. <laughs> While the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire, Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand to be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. 
But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. I can't believe I'm... I thought there was at least two crystals left, but I guess we're down to one. I, hmm. How long is this game? I always thought Final Fantasy games were really long. Maybe just memories of 13? I don't know. I mean, it's possible this is a new direction and it's just not what it used to be. Like, maybe there'll be a 13 part two. It's possible. All right, fancy bid. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well... He has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the Divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas... I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Hold on. Yeah, see, this is why I thought there were two, because, I mean, there's that gap, but... Maybe that's just a fake out, who knows. I still worry for Jill. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a Kashyyyk at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalimil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. No. Everywhere's having problems. <laughs> is this gonna be... a real thing, or is this just like a very small side quest? I guess we'll find out. Martha's rest first. This place just this never catches a break. <laughs> just the amount of things that have happened here. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill, 
Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. All right. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. Is this really nearby or is, is it deceiving me? No, it's actually nearby. All right, good. Can never tell with these maps. You don't think they've abandoned us? Wounded. Oh shit. Okay. We deal with the Akashic first. Enemies approach. <laughs> Not spiders. It's all right, no one's in danger here. These men don't have the look of hired swords. They're just villagers. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? he hasn't come back. Oh no. Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. 
I will. You two be safe now. I can't take much more of this. Music is all tense. My dogs. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. It's probably not a good thing that it's just smog that's just there. Probably not gonna end well. So wait. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it. We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? You. <laughs> Whoa. Damn it. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sawaid? It's like some kind of radioactive tortoise that fights. Over here! Getting rid of the crabs first. Good timing. damage I'll do to it. Oh, no! It's gonna keep going with the staggered one. Combat mutant. Combat mutant tortoise. <laughs> Combat radioactive tortoise, whatever it is. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! So these are all going to be minor quests by the looks of it. The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. 
Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Okay. Uh, fast travel's probably quicker. Oh. Well, no, it is because it's East Pool. <laughs> it's just deceiving that it seems that close, but it's it's actually pretty far away. What happened to this town? <laughs> Honestly. It's over. Hang on. Oh, I have to finish the battle. Wasn't the chest? Where was the one that I just saw? No, what? Oh, there. <laughs> it's. A minimap would go a long way, so I have to go the opposite way to go in the direction I want to go in. Right? Yeah. I was half expecting these things to try and kamikaze into you and explode. But they're pretty calm for an enemy called Bomb. What is this? Crownless are similar to Arid Stones, is that within them is a hidden virtual battlefield. Oh, and no! 
Knock out. <laughs> Don't. Quit. I'm good. That's replaying a battle. As cool as that battle was. I thought it was a waypoint that I didn't get. That fight was really cool. <laughs> One way to reuse enemies, I guess. Kobo. That's a little sad. Why is that thing... What? <laughs> What the, wait, what? <laughs> what happened there? Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Uh, it had to have been a glitch passive going off. Shall we? <laughs> it just, like, didn't even fade to black. It just abruptly cut to this. The enemy wasn't even dead. Wow, I guess even this game's not safe, huh? I thought my monitor had turned off or something. Because it just abruptly went to a black screen. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. Ah, uh, dear. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our I question how much I skipped. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. Uh, hey, Colin, how's it going? If you hadn't turned up, thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. All right, that's one done. You went to the beach and then found out your fridge decided to die. Oh boy. Ooh, a guardian scarf. Hmm. 
My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. I must have sucked. <laughs> Just... The new fridge won't be there until next Did Thursday. Oof. It's an emergency I'm cooler. Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch. I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. Yeah, that sucks. Well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis. How's my day? Busy. It's been a, it's been a week. Tomorrow's Friday, thankfully. I just glitched this game like maybe five minutes before you got here, so there's that. No longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one. A, a what did I do? I my aunt don't know. Told me but a man is my fight fine cut fine off just randomly. The screen went black, and then the cut the next cutscene started playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I must have done something I didn't like. Sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that so Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is. A I broke the new game. Yep. <laughs> Nothing is safe. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Got a, got a rookie. Did I play yesterday? No. I just did Animal Crossing and... Captain Turd yesterday. I've just been playing for half an hour. Um, it's just because of the crystals being smashed, there's like some fog that's kind of appeared around the world and things are turning into that uh, the thing they call Akashic, which is basically just, you know, ra completely radioactive. They don't control their mind anymore. They're just completely wild. Kind of like zombies. So I'm just going around to the towns and helping them with their problem of that shit. So this was the first one. That's about it. My shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would have... Oh, my finest. Oh, it's back over there, what? Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Oh, this guy, yeah. You know. Lube. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Hmm. I tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. 
What makes you think they'll listen? Maybe they don't have the same problem as others. What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. <laughs> Name of this quest. Just follow the shouting. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Hmm. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. Lube. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. Lube. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. <laughs> I don't like the guy, that's why. You'll be addressed by his former name, Lube. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh. What to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Just the way they talk. <laughs> before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. So the plan is, hope that they realize how stupid they're being. That's the plan. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. 
as you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Yeah, I don't think that convention is, like, exclusive to French, if I'm not mistaken. Like, the apostrophe thing. The other one's closer. Picture it, Conrad. Ah, here she is. Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to the other Latin derived languages have similar things. The oldest mercenary guild in the free cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. I'm just gonna say people are, are kind of dumb. <laughs> well played, my lady. Then let us band together and show the Especially when it comes to pride. Looks like this one's gonna be shorter. The other one had combat, this one is just conversation pieces. Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. <laughs> Underhill. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation. The name he could have come up with. You were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade.
He was just trying to, um, Clive. grease the wheels. Performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw a form of lubricant, if you will. It was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. So there really going to be no fight here? I'm kind of surprised. This is diplomatic. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. Okay, so we got to fight. But not zombified things. <laughs> I'll take that one. The zombified stuff was more interesting. Based on the explanation that we got by our advisor, it seemed like, oh no, the smog is really going to mess up the world. Ah, oh, crap. Who did that? Are they out of bounds or something? <laughs> Where are they? Where's the mage? Bandit. Uh, Sultan? No. Sultan's assassin. Must be dead already. Alright, so this is the tanky one. Too slow. Get him. We'll be fine. That attack should carry them upwards, but it just doesn't. Ah, 
There we go. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty... I had to go prepare my tea. I was listening the whole time for this, but like... Every time I hear the word Dalamil, which is the name of this town, it reminds me of tea. There's a brand of tea called Dilma. <laughs> it's just... Association. Like, oh yeah, the tea. We hear Dalamil. I should have my tea. I have tea now. Yeah, I had it ready in in the the bottle. I made it when I did a BRB from the previous game. But since this was very cutscene heavy, took advantage of that. Okay. Now, Northreach. I'll tell you what the problem here is. First, we find Isabel. Oh. I saw it with my own eyes. The whole of Oriflam under a blood. Isabel. We're going to see Isabel again. Tonight, uh, I have the lemongrass one. Sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the strange creatures. Yes. Like a kashik, but Okay, we're back to the radioactive I've stuff. Really, I've lost count. A kashik, but different. I wish I could drink it now, but it's still very hot when I poured it into the glass, so I'm just gonna leave it for a minute. Oh no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Very bright dresses. Let's just double check. Right, yes, and then left. We could leave. The garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection, and protect them I shall, because they. They say in your horizon, you can get a war outfit. Duty. Yeah, they added Mario items as part of an update. Forgot one. But more than that. 
The funny thing is, I I guess me doing the warrior voice on stream has only been something I've done the last year and a half, if that. Or take it up and do what is right. Because I hadn't played. <laughs> well, because I hadn't played a warrior game on stream. It's like. What we have left is our lives. I only started doing it when I played a warrior game. It made sense, right? Look, there's a cask. Or a game where I picked warrior as a character. Like it's, it just didn't happen until. Until the first WarriorWare game on Switch. I'll have a word with him. Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't just do that randomly. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect I think I did I talk about it though, because I, I I definitely talked about the times I played Mario Party and just how I would always pick Warrior because, you know, my name's Will and it's a W. So I, I definitely mentioned that. I just never really had a real reason to do the voice. To consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. Just be too random if I was playing this game and just started doing the voice for no reason. We'll talk to the survivors. It's one of those things that the more you hear it, the less funny it becomes. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in Moor. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... things found me... Nothing wrong with random noises. Well... I ran for my life. I... The warrior thing's not so much a random noise. My family is Thing. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. I assume you have a plan? Oh, right. Our flam. Just you clicked. all they could do to escape. I didn't know that this was toxic. This would look kind of nice. But at the way things are right now, this this is not good. Casting that. Oh, 
Okay, hang on. Where are they? I, I, unlock, unlock. This thing. This thing is on. It's alright, Thargo's got this. What? <laughs> Still more? thing right now i didn't realize this but this like the women's world cup in soccer and apparently we're ho we're hosting it which i did not know but so, australia is like what at the quarterfinal point so they've said that if australia gets to the finals they're going to most likely declare a public holiday so people can go watch it. Which means I might get a day off just cause sports again. There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. I mean we'll see. Like it's a big if. That's they have that the Sunday. And if they pass that, what it's like semi? And then final. So it's like three more to go through. If I'm not wrong. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. Do I watch soccer? Nah, I don't watch any sports. Anymore. But that being said, I did. I can't follow it. Oh, like. Shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, lady. My dad played quite a bit, and we'd have to go watch as kids. So. To remain at their posts for now, I, at least. I do understand it. I just. Don't have an interest in it. It's not the most selfless emotives. You like hockey? What I saw, I would imagine ice. I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier to protect the people I love, and the people I love include the ones. Yeah, I mean, at least that's understandable because it can get pretty brutal. Handsome and chivalrous. Now. If you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish. Do we have hockey? We do, but not at uh, not ice. Uh, I think. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. I think you. There are. There is an ice hockey team for the Olympics, but the other type of hockey is more common. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind to rest. Oh, that's it. That was quick. Thought there was going to be more to that one. I guess I did the longest one first. from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. Yeah, so it's like Australia versus France on Saturday. The skies are still the colour of a kick in the kidneys two days on. 
So, right. Spain, Netherlands, Japan, Sweden, England, Colombia. Those are the teams that are remaining. Well, not the bleeding skies, Bob, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. Go England. <laughs> so it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. So yeah. he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed, but now it would have been the same end result. The Empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, that whole scene was brutal. What do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? Right, so if there were to be a public holiday, it would be the Sunday or the Monday, so 20th or 21st of August. It is not mere chance. Just looking at the dates. <laughs> All dominance carry within them. I mean, it'd be a big deal, like, I don't think Australia's ever gotten that far in a soccer thing. That is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Supposedly it's getting like record numbers in terms of viewership as well. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Well, I'm special. The flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind. Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? He doesn't know. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Can we please find out what happened to him? Like, how did he survive? <laughs> oh, jeez. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Magic. I know it's going to involve magic. I, I want to see it, though.
Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all Ty had told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. Oh, well, okay. But thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. Right. We travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. <laughs> That's Thank some you. foreshadowing there. I'll look after him. <laughs> the tra the the. the the chapter is called Things Fall Apart. You know? Things fall apart. I'm sure it'll be fine. Your guess is things are going to fall apart. Wow. Wow. Mysterious observation. like a dream, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yotun Jeez. is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to be something. Oh. Is this... Wait, what? Oh, there we go, I see. I still question how much of this is left because we're down to one crystal. So unless there's like a whole second act to this, this game might not be as long as I thought it was originally.
Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Get him! Are they... do I have to fight them again? No, okay. It was sad coming across the Chikurvas that I had to kill. What am I gonna play next if it's almost over? I haven't decided yet. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. Nothing new is coming out till September that I want to play, so a bit of time. Oh. So it's just fighting wildlife in general. I want to do another old game, but I'm not sure which one. Banjo toy, I don't know. to just make a list of what I feel like. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. First time here. Here's the scraps you are after. The other thing I was feeling, like I've said, was... I don't know, like the urge to play Pokemon, but... If only the new ones weren't just what they are. Just wish they did better with those ones. Have you noticed the elder has been coughing less of late? Yes. I am also so Not that the gameplay is bad, it's just the state that they're in in terms of lag and just glitchiness. The DLC is coming out soon. I would hope that with the DLC they make it run better. If they do that, then I think that'll make it worth checking out, but if they don't do that, I just don't want to give money to them. But I'll have to make a list and just ask when there are people around and just go, hey, this is a list of games, pick one.
Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. You'll let me know part one is coming out in the fall and part two is coming out in the winter. Okay, so not that far away. Would you care to elaborate? Couple months. The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations. Albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the right. Oh, like a like a secret service almost. After the events of Except it's actually secret. Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began. Yeah, that guy's doing the uh, freaky shit. For Canva. Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. It's that, uh... Left of them. Yes. That whole thing. <laughs> with the naked people. Including his own mom. Barnabas Tharm. That was very unsettling. Meanwhile... But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? That's either the sound of pain or uh, distinguished members of the council. Pain. <laughs> if you he get what I mean. Give His Majesty this intrusion. What did you? What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. Save. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price. If only they knew what was going on behind closed doors. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens. Wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! Enough.
Oh shit. Oh, he did more than take out the guards. should imagine yourselves worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. Jeez. But to what end? <laughs> what that just moment? means that shit that we saw going on behind closed doors has been going on for years. It's certainly a way to turn someone to your side. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. That's very, uh... That's some foreshadowing right there. Let's find our friends. It's 
like the same thing that happened with Sid. Just like a strange little pause. Well, and Sid met his end, so we'll see. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her, which is why I had to let her go. <laughs> dun dun dun. Yeah. Cyril. How fair is the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield. Keeper of the flame of the phoenix and rightful archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? <laughs> They're writing his story as a book. We are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Hmm. Pray accept this token. Oh, another badge! <laughs> For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. I have like 20 of these now. If I was to wear them all at once, just look like I'm attending a convention or something where I've just gone and collected a pin from every stall. Cyril seemed very... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Just put them on my cape. Be like... You ever seen the, uh, the movie Office Space? Like, pieces of flair. At least it's easier. Full party. Blocks <laughs> unavoidable. Ah! 
accidentally place the marker. That's fine. Clive. Smoke. Is the city fallen? It would appear so. Still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Old Canva. Sounds like thunder. Thunder. <laughs> uh. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey! <laughs> Jeez. My boy. It's Uncle. He must be very happy. It's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Gotta be happy for that old guy. He's a cashier could be controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few. Seems like a nice uncle. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district. <laughs> watch the, watch the plot plus he wants them dead. Uh, I'll be really sad if that's the case. Hmm. If the I don't know. I feel like nobody does um, song and dance and wants to kill, you know, in secret. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. I mean, their mother... Keeping an eye on my brother. The intents were pretty clear. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. 
See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. I think I've been pretty good at picking out just Let's find those survivors. certain things, including, you uh, know, what was going to happen to the mother. I feel like if there was something sinister with the uncle, I probably would have picked up on it. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be in shock. Pretty sure he's, he's fine. Just hasn't exhibited anything that would make me think otherwise. I want the dog to get his mystical form back. He hasn't done it since. Who's the caster? Who's the caster? I mean, the haze that's kind of around here would probably explain it. Ugh, I 
hate enemies with big weapons like this. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Either I s mini staggered or, I don't know, got stuck. Wasn't moving for a minute there. Jeez. Got enough enemies there? No, I don't think I did. I would have done that once today. <laughs> it would have been more obvious. Definitely felt strange, but probably still intentional. I saw a chest here, where? Uh... There it is. Satisfying. All of them got hit by that whirlwind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Teleporter, huh? Maybe a little bit inside the enemy. Was rough. This is the Agora, where the city's leaders gather. 
There may still be survivors inside. Thing was brutal. At least it's giving me potions. Oh, of course. Oh, you see. Ultima has the power to conjure naked people. And that is quite a powerful thing. Especially when you're into stuff like, uh, like the king is. Here we go. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. Is he going to be a jumping my or so? Uh... I am the of House Harvard. And you will yield! <laughs> Sleep near? Sleep near what? What do you sleep now? Sleep, sleep now. Yeah, what do you sleep now? No, not sleep now. Sleep now. Oh, what now? <laughs> you will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. I do appreciate the swearing. Did so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will 
kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. Jeez. Yes. Okay, this dude's a little bit too much into this fight. Whoa! <laughs> He's up against the wall, look weird. Oh, that was bad timing. Dead man's beer. Ah. It's like a more annoying version of dive. Oh my god. <laughs> something. What's the name of the spell? <laughs> oh shit. Not let me pull off any moves. Oh, shit. Dead man's beer! Hey look, Doggo is transformed. I just noticed it. We got to steal his power. Clive, you're all right. 
As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? He recognizes him. I hope. That's not a... That's not the way I would want that phrase. <laughs> Nothing, I hope. It's Mama's boy. So soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, warden of Ash and king of Walud. Get back. So the guy's a sword fighter. Wild and impetuous. I expected more of the boy who bested my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. Stone of all creation, the Lord's vessel, your purpose. My purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Damn, not wasting any time. Oh, shit. That's a direct hit. Oh, Jill, please no. No. Oh no. Power beyond reckoning. 
nothing, and they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Some time later. <laughs> oh no. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trash. Oh. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but you've already done so much for us. I guess that's, that, that's what it meant by falling apart, huh? I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life, and for what? Some girl you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Heia wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. He doesn't know. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. He is surprisingly calm, given what just happened. I thought he'd be more angry.
A song of hope. All right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are Glove? But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> They're all this right. accent. But it's a long story. I don't think he'll ever say the word I want him to say. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. Never know. Eh, maybe. We were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. So it's such a small thing. There's been so many opportunities where he could have said it. He hasn't. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Uh, I know this is your hideaway. <laughs> Just cut her off. What do we have here? Oh. Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Is he going to accidentally knock it over and then find it? Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Mid at all. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my invention, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I recall Europus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on the last, that last rhyme. Good luck. <laughs> Sorry, typical. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12 when she'd cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scare. I wonder if it's going to be something like a mirror, and it's just going to encourage her. It's not that we have the answer literally there, it's just like, dad saying she was the best thing. And then it makes her feel better. And then she comes up with the answer. Or it's just... The answer's literally where we're looking. Yeah, 
guess we'll find out. I didn't break it. Best invention. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't Little break shits, what'd you break? <laughs> Just kidding. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we pressed all the buttons. Like this. Oh. Where it was blocked for a sec. Something caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? Can Shut you up, it? kid. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes. Did you break it? No more than you did. How about now? <laughs> Kid's lips weren't even moving. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. It's actually, it's actually something. It's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left. What? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? We'll be dead in the water. <laughs> Fucking hell. I gotta give up on this pipe dream. The further the flagship sails, I have to get back. Oh. It's a completely different thing to this. Ironworks.
Oh, all right. What are they up to? I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INAR is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Just hearing her voice a little, she does have the mannerisms of, of Sid, just a bit. It's pretty well done, the voice acting. He sailed to Ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. Oh, we must. The light? I thought this cove was meant to be hidden. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! All hands! All hands! Man your station! Everyone with me? This is either going to be comedy or for real. It's for real. <laughs> More! Oh? I haven't felt this alive in 20 summers! Come on now! That's the statement he takes issue with, old instead of shite. Ready for that. Bad timing! <laughs> Over here. At least it didn't... Didn't really do much damage given it charged me mid. 
attack. That was easy enough. You heard the captain? <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, of course not. This guy. But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man. But the creation of sleep near sleep near what? <laughs> Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? <laughs> Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield. My boy, there was a time people called me. The executioner. Who was my office? No matter, heads will roll all the same. See, roll. You leave. You can be British and roll your arms as well. <laughs> These foes will not fall easily. Five of them fall easily. Okay, they just keep coming. <laughs> Tongue is broken. I don't know. I mean, not the sort of thing I've ever asked a lot of people is, hey, can you roll your R's? Is, is there difficulty in that? I just thought it was something that was just doable. I thought it was like whistling where, okay, you might not be able to whistle, but then you can learn. It's a worthy fanfare. Now, mate! Alright, engines go ahead! And hold on tight! 
I have to ask people who don't speak Spanish if they can roll their R's. <laughs> That's such a strange question to ask. We were talking about it last time. There were people that didn't speak Spanish that could roll their R's. I mean, I know the British definitely can, because if I think about it, John Cleese, like the voice actor, I know he he rolls his R's, because the movies he was in that I watched as a kid, like cartoon movies, he definitely did. That's quite a mess you've made. Charles Martinet, the voice actor for Mario, quite clearly can do it, because that's where we got thunder from. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. See, she said it. He said water. But I want it from the other guy. Water! I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. I swear, this, this dude sounds a lot like John Cleese sometimes. On their terms, which should answer your question. It's in a good way. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Here we go. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. Apparently, Google says 65 to 81 percent roll their R's. Mercy. Pretty big percentage. Oh shit, he's like barely standing. What's he doing?
Did he just go home? I guess he did. What have I done? Oh, it's no. this girl. Does it say, like, maybe it's... Is it something you can learn? Or is it... Maybe there's some physical attribute that just prevents you from doing it. That's... I would imagine it's just something surely eventually you could do. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. You've been trying to do it since you were little. I think there has I think there has to be like some word that you can practice with that'll make you do it. Let's see what this girl can do. Some English word where you can trick yourself into doing it. This guy is so unsettling, but I guess he was supposed to be. But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. What happened to this dude as a child to cause this? Turn around! Through the maelstrom.
Shielding. Jeez, this same looks pretty cool. It's gonna take a while to take down. He's jumping around too much. Stagga, come on. There it is. Really? Man, he stopped that pretty quickly. Ah, oh, those teleports. Good. Thought she'd be in the lower deck. This whole thing is a bait. She's not going to be on the ship at all. Oh shit. That looks like, uh. They're in trouble. Starboard is. Yeah, one's a wine and the other one is like a surfboard that's in the shape of a star. Duh. Everyone knows that. potions for the first time. Oh. 
port is left. The way I remember it is just it's on the side of the road that we drive on. That's like, you know, where you're going to park, that's port. It's a bit easier for us to remember. You drive backwards? Oh yes, I forgot. America invented driving. My bad. They also invented English. I'm out of potions. Don't know why I drove on the right. There might be a reason. It might be logical. It might just be for the sake of just being contrarian. I don't know. I, I would have to look into why we drive on the left. There's probably a reason. Jill! You came! Get back! I'll explain later. Can't. So, I mean, the reason we do it is because out of here I can. <laughs> there's two reasons. It's originally adopted by the British, which I kind of figured. It's like British colony. That makes sense. But then. Okay, so me, but a guttering flame. I'll I'll read an explanation of this from an official government article on why we drive on the left. That looks really cool.
I mean, very concerning, but cool looking. Can you go on? I think so. Man, that looks cool. But to where? Yeah, exactly. Oh boy. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. I'm <laughs> sorry, but like, <laughs> does this helmet have? A voice processor in, in, you know, like what's going on? Why does his voice change the moment he has a helmet on? Me, Jill. It's like a Darth Vader outfit. <laughs> what do you mean? We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. This one. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Where have I heard this voice before? I fear my lord will still find you. I've heard this voice, a similar voice somewhere. Where have I heard it? Rise, you must. All this fire and fury. And for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. It might just be the voice processing, like it's been used somewhere before. Were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. Get him! Gotta try and conserve health. Anyway, the left hand drive thing is pretty much because the British told us to do so, and it made cultural and economic sense to do so. If reason cannot sway you, there are. Well, in terms of America, it's just like they explain. I 
I gotta read it properly. I'm not doing well. Oh, this fight is bad. This isn't, this isn't like a, I'm going to wind up my attack and let you hit me. This is just straight up. I have to catch up to him. Oh my god. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Shit. You would yield so soon. Never. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? Were we supposed to lose this, or is this just like a salt in the wounds you lost? Like a long game over. ...that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his. And yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. This guy's out of his mind. Others, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. 
It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Oh, shit. Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <laughs> oh boy. Don't look back. What? <laughs> why did I? Why did I get? <laughs> what? What? Clive bested? Ah! Huh? Was that? In I guess it was intentional. Or bad ending. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Jeez. When did they get naked? The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know me? <laughs> when did this happen? I guess they're drying out their clothes? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. But you know, he has the power of fire. Do you though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? <laughs> Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. 
You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Uh. Jill. Are you sure? If... If this is what you want, then... I was pretty... Don't worry, Clive. It is. That was pretty without hesitation. This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. At least it's voluntarily, and that's not because she's dying. Burdens I carry. My sins, my pain. My sorrow. Yeah, I mean, he's getting her powers, but it's not because she's dying, so it could be worse. Uh... Why does this have to have like a, like such a weird sexual undertone to it? Okay, at least she's not dead. Find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. I mean, the other thing is she's getting weaker by using her powers, so... We might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. That, that's a sentence right there. thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Still not sure why they got naked in the first place, <laughs> but okay. It was just, oh, they're naked, okay.
Just there's there's no there's no lead into that. <laughs> just it's all right. It's a nice scene. Just a bit sudden. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. I mean, damn, is if this is the I bad ending. <laughs> Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. It's not like her powers are completely gone. I'm sure she can still do her thing. It's just... Now we have ice. So that just leaves... Yeah, the king. As the final power-up. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. He said sea. <laughs> he said sea instead of water. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. I'm sure that's wise. Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. The power of ice. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Ice Age, which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Ooh, get the, the cape. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tali will allow it. I mean, these are my primary ones. Yep, so it's pretty much what I thought it would be. Hmm. What should I put it into?
This is light. Let me see. Probably upgrade with this spell. Like, this spell's very good. I'm focusing on fire. I'm going all in on the fire. Um, and then Shockwave is good as well. Look, I'm a fan of lightning and fire. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith. Dangerous world out there. Let's stock up one. Let me see. Hunter's way. Okay, see, look at this. It'd better all be here. No. You're rubbing me blind, you know. <laughs> It'd better all be here. I haven't spent money, so you know. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Finish. All right. Now well, let me see what I can do with this. Trouble with your gear, or so will it be? Bright burn. If I do say so myself. Ice brand. Up to 300. Scratches, right? So hang on. Sixty nine seventy eight. Greenbelt plus one. Greenbelt plus two to eighty one. This might help. Like, I feel like I wasn't wearing the most optimal stuff. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Dragon armlets down to... And? Let me see. I don't get what the, the color variation is it's like purple i'm just associating it too much with diablo where like you no know, purple's a better color but i don't think it, it matters because it doesn't seem like it grants an effect. it just seems like purple's special like it's the lore related it's i tried to figure out like which is better but i don't think it really helps at all
All right, but armor is much better. Like, to be honest, I'm surprised I haven't run into more problems given the armor. Okay. Well, this is where I'm gonna stop for today. It is past midnight. And tomorrow's Friday, so I got a long day. Yeah, but it'll, it'll be the end of the week, thankfully. Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of this so far. And remember to click buttons and stuff for the algorithms thingies if you want to support the channel over here. Thank you to those that have been doing that so far. It does help the channel a lot. Or maybe two other videos have popped up on your screen and you want to watch me play something else. But till next time, YouTube. Bye.